Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your monthly reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the, um, October 2022. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you so, so much. Wow, starting off with two fives, huh? Five of cups, five of wands, seven of swords energy. Uh, dealing with a loss or a betrayal, not getting along. Um, I, I get this feeling of almost even feeling guilty for not trusting someone or accusations have flown. I feel that you know you need to walk away and move away from this situation, this area, this whatever it may be. Um, the betrayal has made itself clear is what I'm hearing okay and two sixes my goodness six of swords and six of coins so um and the justice card beginning middle and let's see what the end of the month has in store wow five six seven seven of wands um you've got two sevens here as well the magician I love it and the eight of swords okay so a little bit of a struggle bus month for you guys, but nothing you can't handle, that's for sure. Remember, guys, give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. <laughs> uh, getting back into the swing of things, I will be going live on a weekly basis. Uh, make sure your notifications are turned on. It will most likely be Tuesdays and maybe one other day. So five of cups, five of wands, and the seven of swords energy. Again, it's like struggling to get along, struggling to... To understand struggling to heal um people not getting along i almost feel like you may have been dealing with someone who because of arguments or disagreements or just momentary um distance between uh two people or a group of people there was this okay i'm gonna say if this is in a relationship it almost feels like like this was you and someone that you were seeing with and involved with, uh, not getting along, fighting. And it's almost as though they're blaming you or blaming the fights for pushing them to cheat, for pushing them to do um, dishonest things, for breaking vows, right? Um, I feel as though their little sneaking around type of behavior has been going on even before you discovered it. Uh, they may also be accusing you of the same. Well, I only did it because I felt like you were doing it, even with no concrete proof is what I'm hearing. Okay, so uh, unfortunately for some people here, I'm hearing uh, this has been an ongoing issue and you want to uh, make sure that you move forward with uh, a sense of stability and Moving forward where you know that someone isn't going to give in to temptation or lie, cheat, steal, uh, do you want them to do right by you regardless of the current energy, regardless of the current situation. Like, is this worth working out? Is this worth keeping and moving forward and doing uh, everything that you can, putting forth the energy, the effort, the the love to heal whatever has been driving a wedge between you. Uh, this could also be at work, people. Uh, it feels as though for some of you, if this isn't in a relationship, you're, you may be in this like toxic work environment. And it feels as though there's a lot of sneaking around bullshit, e bullshit eavesdropping um got you know kind of like gossipy type energy like somebody's not happy in a workplace because people are not getting along if i feel like cancer you are very empathetic you can absorb some of these energies at time at times and it feels as though you know you feel everyone's anger you feel everyone's depression you feel everyone's disappointment aggression whatever it is it is that's going on and i get this energy of a lot of resentment maybe it feels as though the wrong people have been moved up the wrong people are within power the wrong people are not the right leaders or the leadership in this group um, in this place of employment, uh, maybe you're finding out or you're discovering that some people are getting paid a lot more money than you that have been there for a least amount of time. And it's almost as though like you're saying, where's the loyalty that, you know, that's just wrong. I've put in so many years here and this new person is automatically earning more than I am. That type of, um, energy is what I'm feeling 
So I do get this feeling of betrayal. I do get this feeling of, you know, whether this is in business or in love, partnership, uh, wanting to walk away, move away and finding calmer ground, right? Whether that means uh, whatever you've been arguing about needs to be left behind and healing needs to happen moving forward. Uh, but you need to know that just as much energy as you'll be pouring into and doing the work to heal a relationship or a situation, you need them to do the same, right? It cannot be one-sided. There has to be equal give and take. You want to know that just as much love that you pour into it, they, um, they will do the same. If you're pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring and depleting yourself and they're over here like I'll show up when I feel like it you know then where is the justice in that you especially if this is in a marriage or some sort of contractual agreement right maybe this is a business contract and you feel like wait a minute if we're business partners and we're you know I'm doing all the work I'm the face of of this company or I'm doing this I'm doing that and and you're pulling in more money than me what's going on here you know so I do feel like there is this energy of you know definitely balancing the scales fighting for what's right truth and justice and trying to really maneuver uh at I'm seeing it as manipulating energy, but I don't mean it in a negative way. I, I mean it as though you're trying to bring in the peace. You're trying to calm the energies. You're trying to like smooth things out in a relationship, in a business partnership, whatever it may be. However, your morals, your ethics, you know, what your beliefs are, they are worth standing up and defending them for. And you're ready to start a new chapter. You're ready to wipe the slate clean, but you're also no fool, right? You're also not going to pretend that you don't see injustice in certain situations or injustices in, you know, how you're doing everything and they're doing less and getting paid more or uh, why they even deserve to receive boyfriend or girlfriend benefits and then not being an equal partner in this situation, right? You meeting someone else's needs and desires and are they doing the same for you? Um, and, and, and were they at one point and now they are not? Why? Why is there no consistency? Why is it all you pouring into someone and they're not equally I just heard equally obsessed with you in return, right? So, you know, definitely red seems very, very prominent here. Red can be lust and power and anger, right? Red can also be grounding and base and root chakra. But sometimes with the eight of swords here, notice how she's blindfolded, but also has her hands tied and bound. However, she's not immovable. She still got her legs. <laughs> she could still pull the red scarf off her eyes so that she can see. There is a way around these situations. However, it feels as though sometimes you'd rather not see things for what they are and just hope that they die down. Hope that, you know, everything works itself out without you having to say or do anything in the end because you want to keep things kosher in this connection, in this, you know, environment, business, personal friendships, whatever it may be. Uh, but I do get this energy of someone playing two teams. And I said that and the two of pentacles came out, right? Now, for some of you, because I just heard it, you were just like, uh-uh, don't tell me they go both ways, okay? So if that was your first thought, you already had a suspicion about it. That was kind of a confirmation of don't don't blind don't, don't act blindsided when the truth comes out okay i do get this energy though um i'm not saying who you're messing with is gay or you know messing with the other side here um look at that S the sun card at the bottom of the deck overall happiness in this situation if you can actually you know put it all together uh communicate and you know smooth things out and understand each other's point of views and understand um 
what needs to take place where where there's this sense of not feeling heard or understood or feeling like there's an imbalance here. I mean, the six of coins here shows a, a scales imbalanced. However, the justice card follows, meaning that imbalance isn't going to last long. If you've been feeling an imbalance in your relationship, an imbalance, I just heard for some of you, an imbalance in your hormones as well, like definite highs and lows. It could be imbalance in friendships, home, um, finances, um, <clears throat> home environment, uh, business employment, uh, that's, that's very much short lived. Okay. Mm. So as I was saying that I felt the energy of somebody working both sides, right? Working two sides here, two sides of the coin. For some of you, you may have found out that your partner was cheating with someone of the same sex, right? makes it feel a bit more devastating. Uh, this has been some sort of internal conflict that this person has been dealing with a very long time. And I feel like, and this is very specific for someone, not everyone. And I feel as though this type of internal conflict and turmoil has been brewing for some time and they may have just finally given in to temptation. Um, I do get this energy of manipulative energy around this person's uh, energy or situation. Like I said, this is not for everyone. So let it go and wait for the next part of this message. Um, what I'm feeling is they may have started fighting. They may have started picking fights with you, disagreements. All of a sudden, from one day to the next, everything was bothering them. You couldn't even breathe their way. You couldn't, oh, just the way you pulled the blankets over you when you shared a bed, you know, it, something as simple as that, right? Um, it was just the way their inner conflict was building up inside that they didn't know how to express it. They didn't know how to say it or move accordingly. And there was a bit of shame that's been locked up in there for quite some time. So it's like, um, maybe if I fight enough with this person, I can use that as an excuse for, you know, stepping out in a connection or a relationship. And this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Now, for that one person that I feel went to go experiment with someone of the same sex, I feel like if this is something where they're starting to realize that this is a path for them, you may start to see an increased activity in disagreements, in uh, wanting to separate, wanting to divorce. It's not for everyone, remember I said, but I do feel like there is one person here that's been dealing with someone who you even started to wonder. And not because I felt you felt that in the beginning, but because somebody else said, really, I always thought they were gay, you know, or I always thought they, you know, they went both ways or whatever it may have been. You may have already known this from the beginning. Uh, however, there is this interest in one to explore more because they didn't really get a chance to uh, before they were in this connection. Okay. So I'm going to close that part of this reading here. However, the other side of that coin playing both sides could also be someone at work trying to befriend you, trying to, um, you know, maybe someone who's not necessarily someone that you talk to or have, um, you know, have this, this uh, close-knit relationship with, but suddenly starts chatting you up a little bit more regularly on a daily, maybe a little bit more often a few times a day throughout the day because I feel like they want to gain your trust. But I feel like be careful with this person. They definitely feel like they've got a little bit of sneakiness to them. They could be, it's either because they're spying on you or because they want to get your perspective on a situation. And then I feel like there's a lot of manipulative energy here trying to, um, oh, I'm hearing that they're going to try to use it against you, but in a way that's more like they're going to portray or mis, you know, misinterpret exactly what you're saying about a situation, right? Like... They're going, I feel like they're going to use it against you. So just be careful of that, okay? Uh, be careful. If this is already going on, you already know who this is. Don't start getting paranoid about everybody at work. Uh, so just be careful who you um, entrust with personal thoughts, beliefs, and views, right? 
at the end of the day, you have the sun card that's overseeing this entire reading. So I do feel like um, the injustices, the imbalances, uh, you standing your ground and not folding, not bending because someone threatens you, knowing that you know you stand for what's right regardless. Just know that you got to make sure to take the blindfold off and seeing everything as clearly as possible, the big picture. There may be other areas or other situations in this um whole uh, situation that you are not seeing so before you make a big life-changing decision make sure you have all the information but tell me more about the seven of swords and the two of coins here yeah someone is exploring another path right so maybe you're looking to promote maybe you're looking for a job outside of uh you know your current place of employment and you haven't really confided in anyone about it except this one person i feel like they may be the one that kind of rats you out right kind of turns around and says well you know they're not going to be here for long nonchalantly drops that and it's like what do you mean they're not going to be here for long oh yeah they're looking for a job you didn't know and then you may start feeling like the squeeze of you know of of the or the tension of your supervisor like they're almost not giving you the usual overtime hours not giving you the big projects not giving you recognition like it's like their loyalty has ended once they felt you started looking elsewhere this could also be like i said someone sowing their seed <laughs> the you know elsewhere right experimentation um trying to weigh out their options is how i'm seeing it okay so just be mindful of that uh let's see anything else here what is the injustice that cancer has been feeling oh definitely money look at that there's no coincidence here Equal give and take, absolutely. Balancing those financial scales. Um, I do feel like some of you are definitely going to be receiving unexpected money, a sign-on bonus, um, overtime, additional income. If you have felt that maybe someone was being favored and receiving more money, you're about to have unexpected income or opportunities for uh, unexpected income to come in, okay? So I like that energy for you. Remember the sun card, everything that's in your highest good will prevail uh, above all. So let's see what we have here with the energy oracle. Let me have a few energy cards for the month to better understand. Okay, attachment and angel of strength in the garden and the gate. Now, I know some of you don't want to hear this because um, <laughs> it may not resonate with you or it just may be that um, some of you don't support LGBTQ. Right. So if you come from a, a, a perspective or a family or an upbringing where you're not supportive of that or it's blasphemous or whatever, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, their own thoughts, whatever it may be. Um, I do feel like there is a specific attachment here of how things must be right from wrong. It's in God's will, God's way um, that is wrong. People like that shouldn't exist. I'm just hearing very much like it's coming from a very uh, strong religious background uh, in terms of what's okay and what isn't. And so if there is someone here who's quite religious and um and is wanting to explore and experiment and wanting to see what's out there, it's going to take a great deal of strength to really put themselves out there to see what else there is. Is this right or wrong? Uh, I, I feel as though for some, uh, you know, you have another five here, five and 50, and you start off with five. So great change is coming. It may be uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, it's for your highest good. So if, if you're dealing with someone, or maybe this is you, Cancer, that you've always wondered whether or not this is some something you've been wanting to explore, right? But your upbringing, your family, your parents, your whoever is saying otherwise, it can, it, it can be a very emotionally restrictive and uncomfortable way to live right 
And why is that? Because you're not honoring yourself. Um, I just heard someone here may have heard things in terms of like family being like, oh, they're perverted. There's something wrong with them. Now, if you've been with me from a, for a very long time, you know that that is not my language. That is not the way I speak. That is not my point of view. I'm simply bringing in the message that I'm channeling. So someone here is clearly dealing with that type of energy around them where almost as though like you're afraid to be disowned. However, I feel like by you not honoring your true feelings, your true, um, I just heard your true north. Not only are you holding yourself back from who you truly are or who you're meant to be, but are you truly happy? Like, are you going to be happy hiding the feelings that you have or and I know this is going to be a bit controversial for some of you um, but at the end of the day you've got to honor yourself uh, am I encouraging you to just tell your family to f off <laughs> if you need to but it's we all have free will we all have to figure out how to maneuver our way out of situations and so I, again, I'm feeling like you've been, someone here has been dealing with some sort of situation in that way. Now, others of you, you have this idea of what your happily ever after looks like, of what happiness looks like, and maybe you're not traditional, um, but you're also, what I'm hearing, non-confrontational, right? So there are parts of you, of your life, of your lifestyle that you have not shared with your family, that you have not shared with people in your life because uh, I'm just feeling like you're, it's like you're hiding in plain sight. You're, what your family, what your friends, what your coworkers see is one thing, but what you do outside of that is a completely different thing, right? And more power to you if what you're doing makes you happy, right? Don't break the law, don't get in trouble. <laughs> don't harm yourself either, right? I will always be here to support someone's true north, to, to help someone really feel more encouraged to embrace who they truly are inside and out. So if that is some sort of feeling that you have been battling with in the realization that perhaps um, you are attracted or you want to do something that maybe your upbringing has said is absolutely wrong, it's gross, it's, you know, whatever, I don't know, whatever people say nowadays, um, you know, it, it, it's been, it's been, it's been an emotional struggle for you and coping with it. I uh, definitely feel that. However, you know, this card of the garden of the gate, right? Very low gate easily able to just jump over climb over but she's on the other side of the gate and she's got her key like hanging from her neck so it's like she's looking at the future she's looking at the beautiful pasture the beautiful butterflies the sky this beautiful outlook of a garden and she wants to go run in this garden and embrace it and maybe even roll down the grassy knoll right but there's fear. There's there's something holding her back. And there's something within her that justifies, oh no, I'm not worthy of that garden. I can't go in there. But yet she has the key. So metaphorically, you may be feeling like, you know, even though you're steps away from your happily ever after, from your happiness, your emotional fulfillment or financial security or whatever it may be, you really are worth it. You really are worthy and deserving of your happiness, regardless of other people's points of view. Okay, so this is the Hocus Pocus deck. I'm going to pull uh, cards for how we're going to wrap up this um, reading towards the end of the month. And then I'm going to pull a card for November. I did that for Pisces. Um, Knight, of, Knight of Candles is Knight of Wands. Four of Candles is Four of Wands. <laughs> the last three readings had that card. I did Capricorn and Pisces, and now you had the Four of Candles. So definitely uh, union, unity, family situation, uh, reunions, parties, get-together, celebrations, home life, 
is prominent here. Ace of Pumpkins this is the Ace of Pentacles. One more card and the Three of Potions, the Three of Cups. So you may be attending a celebration, a reunion, a get together. This may be your opportunity to really get to know uh, certain people a little better. You may actually meet someone here that kind of sparkles your fancy, <laughs> sparks your interest, right? And it could be someone that you're not generally used to or someone that you wouldn't normally go out with or interact with and so you know you take a chance on on getting to know this person a little bit more right so uh four of candles and the ace of pumpkins with the three of potions three of cups uh definitely a lot to celebrate uh i'm hearing drinks all around ace of pumpkins uh is the ace of pentacles it could be new financial new beginnings this could be new job offers maybe you're celebrating a promotion or a job offer or you're celebrating someone else's uh, could be, you know, someone's graduation as well uh, from college a program, whatever it may be, or you may have met someone recently. But I do feel at the end of the day, remember what I said with the sun card, the sun card is overshadowing the entire reading. So at the end of the day, there is a lot to be happy and grateful for. And you have a lot of happiness and fulfillment that you have to look forward to, Cancer. Um, if you have fire in your chart, because you do have a lot of fiery energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe check out their readings as well. Let's see what November has in store for you. Ace, I swear, if you have Pisces in your chart as well, I don't remember if Capricorn had it but i think capricorn did as well ace of lightning moving into november is victory is revealing the truth is communicating the truth right so if you've been afraid to let people know that you're interested in someone completely different maybe you're non-binary maybe i don't know maybe you don't identify as whatever it is that people want you to identify as I feel like you finally communicate your wants, needs, desires, hopes, wishes, dreams, fulfillments. You're happily ever after. Who makes you happy? What makes you happy? And anybody that doesn't support your happiness, well, they can, you know, hit the bricks, kick rocks, right? But the Ace of Lightning is really saying, I'm ready to live out loud. I'm ready to live free and be who I am meant to be authentically. No more hiding, and, you know, no more living against what I feel I've been living against for far too long. Wow, I cannot make that up. Ten of Pumpkins. You go from the Ace of Pumpkins at the end of October and November, you get the Ten of Pumpkins. Um, ten of Pumpkins is the Ten of Pentacles. So your November is, is looking like beautiful cards by the way your november is looking like uh there's going to be a lot of clarity victory and success the more you honor yourself and you communicate about who you really are what you want uh, how you want to live the more love and stability and you know this is stability in all areas of your life ten of pumpkins yes while it can be regarding money career finance stability in the home luxuries of life but it really is about how you feel so stable inside and out in your environment whether that's work in your relationship in your family situation it, you know if if your family or your friends aren't as open as you are it's okay they'll either come around or they're just not your people anymore because anybody that doesn't honor or respect who you truly are is not your people even if they're family okay you, you've got to you've got to set those res boundaries of respect okay so november is going to look really really good for you let's pull some moonology cards and queen of the moon oracle as we do have the full moon in aries and i'm going to be late posting these up so definitely you, we may have already had that energy and we may still be lingering in that energy but we also have I keep think I keep hearing Scorpio. So if you have Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with a Scorpio, check out their reading. Their Scor their reading is actually next after yours. Okay, so it could um it could resonate with you. I can't I can't give you I can't give you anything on it yet just yet. So um you know we do have new moon in Scorpio at the end of this month. So it's definitely looking good for you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. <coughs> 
Thank you. I absolutely appreciate when you literally take the words right out of my mouth and then confirm it. Okay. As I was saying, I keep hearing Scorpio. I keep hearing Scorpio. You know, at the end of the at the end of this month, we do move into Scorpio season, and then we have the new moon in Scorpio, or Scorpio may be prominent in your chart or who you are dealing with, and we get the card of new moon in Scorpio. And the message is work through your fears right? Some of you have been fearful about coming out. Some of you have been fearful of, you know, even just saying something like, I don't want to be married anymore. I'm over it. Been there, done that. I've tried it. Some of you want to, you know, go off into the wilderness and live like a hermit. Uh, some of you want to like literally run away from society and just work from home and I just feel like some of you really just will thrive under a rock for a while is how I'm hearing it um but I do feel like you've got some fears that you need to work through what will people think say do feel how are they going to make me feel what will they be communicating to me so whatever you may be dealing with in terms of your fears moving forward um, you know, definitely something to work through. Uh, new moon in Scorpio at the end of this month. I want to say we've got a partial solar eclipse. I did not write down my notes. So uh, I've, you know, I can't, I can't tell you how to work with eclipse energy. However, if you do moon energy work, uh, keep that in mind is that it is a partial solar eclipse. So if you are looking for victory, success, new beginnings, better ways of communication, Ace of Com Pumpkins and Ace of Lightning, which is Ace of Swords and Ace of uh, Pentacles, two beautiful aces that you can definitely count on when it comes to victory and success and creating a new life for yourself in victory. Look at the bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius. Okay. So very, very important for you moving forward. So if you have Sagittarius in your chart, check out that reading. And no, I'm not there yet. I haven't done Sagittarius's reading. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. But look at the bigger picture when you're making decisions, changes when, and I just heard some of you have to advocate for yourself. Wow. You know, stand your ground, Cancer. Stand your ground. I do feel like you've got some supportive energy around you, and yet you are more, much more worried about those that may not support you. And that is like the energy that's kind of really firing up those fears, okay? So be careful. Uh, so let's see. With the Queen of the Moon Oracle, we've got the, the card of darkness, long night moon. And, and what did I literally just said? I feel like some of you guys really want to go hermit mode and go hide under a rock for a while. Um, you know, the long night moon, I do feel like it's almost as though you're running away from dealing with your fears or having these important conversations, right? Mm. I do feel like there's this temporary mode of darkness um i feel like there's this energy of wanting to disconnect saying what you need to say disconnect ground yourself and coming back stronger than ever is how i'm seeing it yeah i mean thank you spirit resilience card number 21 this is waning gibbous five uh, you know, what happens when we've been there, done that and gotten the T-shirt and souvenirs and trophies and, you know, plenty of stories to tell. We gain that sense of strength, that energy, that resiliency to keep moving forward, that regardless of where we're at right now, at some point in our life, we may have been through worse. And so nothing can stop you. Nothing will break you. Right. Um, and I just heard that Beyonce song. I don't know what it's called because I'm, I'm, you know. Uh, I don't, I don't really listen to her music, but, um, you know, the one that says you won't break my soul. I mean, it's kind of hard to get like, not hear it when it's not your type of music because it's all over social media. Right. So that is your reading, um, you know, for you, Cancer. I hope this resonated for you. Please let me know down below. Uh, make sure you give this a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings and when I go live, excuse me, I got the hiccup suddenly. So I definitely feel that even if you felt that this didn't resonate with you when it came to maybe coming out of the closet, 
um, sharing your experiences. I do feel that this can um, that this can resonate with some of you in other aspects or areas of your life, like your career or uh, maybe your family belief systems, right? And um, I just heard for some of you, you may have a child that is non-binary or that comes out of the closet and, um, you know, it's kind of been like a hush-hush energy and because you're afraid of what whether or not the family is going to accept them or will they speak negatively or make them feel bad and that is something that you will not stand for is what i'm hearing okay so apply to your situation and i will see you guys very soon i cannot wait to see what's next for you my cancer friends check out the other aspects of your chart your moon your rising your venus signs um you know mars even and i will see you guys soon take care bye